Is there a moment you remember you fell in love with wrestling and you know that's just where you wanted to do your whole life? Um, when I was in kindergarten, I got a slip that said wrestling sign-ups and I took it home to my dad and uh, he had me come up and sign up for wrestling and I got into it with the youth guys here and I wrestled with these guys for four to five years and then I got into uh, like a travel team and I was traveling pretty much around the whole United States just wrestling. So looking back at you know freshman year, you were able to get a silver medal at districts. Uh, were, were you, uh, you know, impressed or surprised at all about how you how well you were able to do as a freshman? You know, uh, walk me through, through that tournament and what's kind of going through your head. Um, yes, I was happy with how I wrestled, but I feel like I could have won it last year. I just had a bad match, and um, I did a lot of different things this year differently to uh, wrestle up to this point make this point better. What were some things that changed? Did anything like change in your preparation or did you work on something more than another? Uh, you know, what went into the off-season work? Um, well, off-season I wrestled a lot of freestyle and Greco. Um, I haven't had a day off and I don't even remember when. I just go every day lifting, uh, running a lot, wrestling. Every day is just another day to get up and get better. Even on holidays? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> so what, what was your what was your day like on uh, Christmas, for instance? Uh, Christmas, we had practice here, and then after Christmas dinner, uh, we went and we ran. My dad and I went to Anytime Fitness. We were running, biking, getting back in shape. Okay. So is it easy to, I mean, is it ever hard to, like, you know, have to get out and work out? Is there a day that you're really um, close no, to taking a day off? No, I just look at it as just another day to get better. Okay. Somebody else is working just as hard. A lot of a lot of pins, a lot of you know big wins for you. Um, did, do you ever pay attention to your record and realize that you know, nobody's really uh, beating you yet? And it, you do have an undefeated season going right now? I'm not really. A lot of times records don't really matter to me. Um, I just wrestle the kid in front of me and hope to win. Sure. So um, yeah, looking back at your uh, district's uh, uh, final, um, do you remember anything that went wrong that you know, you know you left that mat saying you know we're going to make sure that we're better with that this next year? Yeah, um, I went. Uh, I was really sloppy on my feet. I took some bad shots and I got snapped down in a front headlock. Really let the other opponent control my head and mm -hmm. I just didn't wrestle my match. And uh, you know how, how was regionals for you overall? Just your first first year in varsity. Uh, I think you finished what sixth place. Sixth, yeah. So uh, overall, what's your overall impressions with uh, your first trip to regionals? Too? Um, it's definitely a lot tougher than a lot of other tournaments, but um, I feel that this year, if we wrestle correct, that will put many guys in the states. Okay. So um, you're going into districts now. What's your uh, expectations? Do you have goals set up for yourself yet? Um, yeah, I'm hoping to win it. I know that I have a lot of people standing in my way of uh, districts, but um, I'm just going to try to wrestle my match, and whatever happens, happens. And overall, um, this year, your career, have you ever thought about what you want to accomplish before you uh, leave some Canada? I'm not. I'm sure I'll get 100, 150 wins uh, this year, but I think that whatever's going to happen is going to happen for the well for the best